Yesterday, new DoorDash Terms of Service was rolled out to all drivers. Did you agree to it or did you just click agree and start dashing? Welcome back everyone. If you were working DoorDash the other day, you got prompted to read the new Terms of Service and you had to agree before you could work the DoorDash platform. If you are looking for that full breakdown of what happened in the terms of service, this isn't that video, but what we are going to talk about is the timing of the rollout and why you should probably skim through and read what you actually agree to. In my area, it got rolled out around noon-ish. Now, let's just think for a moment on the mentality and the timing of this rollout. There are two really major times of the day that DoorDash makes the most amount of money, lunch and dinner. So this came out just at the lunch rush was starting when dashers are making money. Now, as a dasher, you have really two choices. Take the time during the start of a really busy money-making time and read through this document you are agreeing to sign or you just hit agree and start dashing. I can almost guarantee DoorDash was betting that most drivers just hit the accept and really not read completely through the document. I personally was going to get lunch. I just decided to take it a little early and read through the terms of service myself. We will get into reading through the document just in a little bit. Majority of the drivers on the platform are part-time and most drivers come home from work and have a limited amount of time to go out and make money. The first thing a driver sees at nighttime is the new terms of service. Okay, people, be real with me, you part-time people out there. How many of you actually stopped and read the terms of service? I would bet 90% of the drivers the other day did not read the new terms. So why? Because everyone wants to go out and make money and especially if you're part-time and you have a full-time job. Honestly, do you really care about it? Most drivers are in the gig economy to make money and they just hit agree. For example, what about drivers who English is a second language and can't actually understand what is being presented right in front of them and you know what, probably they just hit agree and they just went back to work. Heck, I barely got through it with a little understanding, but is this really what DoorDash was really banking on and do drivers really not understand what they're really reading? Probably. but. They can say every driver signed off on it because they wanted to go make money. Pretty genius way of getting everybody to sign off on a new terms, right? But is it smart just to sign something that you haven't read? No, I encourage everyone to always read through what you sign. I know it is boring and most of the times it is really hard to understand because let's face it, it's in legal terms and we're not lawyers. But get a general understanding what is in there because it could affect your pay, contract violations, and the functions as a driver that you just agreed to. But should you be forced into signing anything that is a legal contract? Here's my take on it. Technically, no, but we all have choices and there are a couple. This is honestly one of the reasons why I multi-app. If I truly did not agree at all with these terms of service, no, I don't have to sign it, but no, I won't be working the DoorDash platform because you need to sign it to work. It's okay because I have so many different apps and the streams of income, it becomes DoorDash who? Or your other choice, you do sign an agreement, but you stop working the DoorDash app, but you still have it in your arsenal and an active account. 
it wouldn't be your number one app anymore. It would become like your fourth, fifth, or sixth app, depending on how many apps you have. I always encourage drivers to have backup apps and multi-app. Money is a big part of multi-apping, but never be locked into any of these apps just for one app. Have choices, not a company dictating what you must do. Bottom line, as drivers, we all want money and the freedom, but ultimately, the choice is definitely yours. Haven't worked DoorDash in a couple of days? Well, you will be prompted at some point to agree to this new terms of service. Everyone take time just to even skim through it and get a general understanding. And don't worry, a new one will always be coming in the near future because they do happen every once in a while. So let me know, did you read through it and any thoughts on it or did you just hit agree and go make some money. If you're driving, please stay safe and healthy. Remember, kindness is always free. I love you guys, and I'll see you next video. Peace.